Hello everyone, my name is Nemo, and welcome back to Scratch. You see, we have a blank project, and today I will be showing you guys how to make a better Pong game. Like in the last episode, we covered the basics of a Pong game. I'm starting over from scratch, and we're going to be making a better Pong game, background music, uh, main menu, more than one levels. So, let's get into the video. Alright, the first thing you want to do is just create a new Scratch project. You can sign up, and I have a tutorial made other basic video on how to make a Pong game, but the first thing you want to do is you'll have a default sprite. You're going to want to create a new one in paint, and we'll call this... Actually, no, we're not going to... Not gonna, I'm not going to paint. Yeah, I, actually, I will paint it. I'm going to call this ball, and we can just paint basically like the Pong ball. Uh, I guess I can do like aqua. Guess that works, and then circle. Then we can do an outline of more like ten, and then hold a little trick. If you hold shift, trying to draw something, it will do that. Okay, and now let me just get this centered real quick. Perfect. Now uh, we're gonna call this player, and. What I thought could be interesting is if we did a scrolling background, that will probably be part two, but I, I guess this can be like a scrolling pong game or something, with like an advanced pong game. But anyway, for our player, we're just going to keep as a nice and simple bar. I'll do this green, I guess that works. And we can do an outline of blue, and again, we'll also make that 10. By the way, you guys do not have to copy me, although, however, if you f want to copy me, feel free to, and I didn't, okay. Um, if you want to copy me on the exact costumes, feel free to, but just know you do not have to copy me. Actually, I'm going to make that outline just five. So you got to have a good sprite so people actually want to play your games. Tips for if you want to get people actually playing your games. you got to have good artwork. Well, that's not good art. Not necessarily good artwork, but... It's not necessarily like good, but it'll just do for this tutorial. Feel free to spend a lot of time into doing the art however you like. And the better the art, the more views you'll get. And then the last thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create another sprite. And we're going to call this background. So let me name it background. Okay, so now if we head into our play, well, first of all, in the background, we we'll want to pick a background. Uh, if we go over to the background, show you a little trick, and then do choose a backdrop. Then we can select like um, what should I do? What's what's a, what's a good one? Uh, colorful city. Then we can actually copy this. We can delete it over here. And then in the background sprite, if we click right here, and then paste it. We can have that under background. And what, what, why is it not showing? Um, if, it's, if anything's not showing, make sure it's shown. Or if you go over to looks, then take this. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, here. Go to front layer. Um, you can just press this on all your sprites, and they should appear. Is there any other reason? Oh, didn't work. I guess it didn't save. Oopsie. But yes, you cannot just put your back, if you're going to do a scrolling game, you can't just put your background there. You're going to have to put it in its own custom sprite. So, copy. I don't know why it's lagging so much, probably because I'm recording. Paste. And then this background, I can delete. There we go. Now we have this, and it's in the front layer, so we want to see our other sprites. Now we can just do select front, and then press back. Now, it'll go to the back layer, and we can see all our sprites. So, first thing we're going to want to do is do a create a couple variables. So, how am I going to do this? Okay, so in the player sprite, what we're going to do is we're going to create one. And this one's going to be for all sprites. And I'm going to call it, uh, what should I call it? I guess, camera. Camera X. And for all sprites, and also make another one called camera Y for all sprites. And notice I do not have cloud variables because this is my tutorial account, which I do have not gotten to scratch already. And then that, and then 
I've n yeah, I think I think yeah, and then that's good. And then we're also going to create one called level. And actually no, if we go into the backdrop, no. Uh how do I do this? So I, I haven't mastered it. Um I Yeah, it's all all sprites and I'm going to call it level. Actually I don't need to do caps. But all sprites level and we can just go ahead and hide all of those for now. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is well first of all first of all we're gonna wanna uh, send this to back layer. So go to oh my god I'm zo I zoomed out a lot. Go to back layer. There we go. And now we're gonna wanna make it so it'll move. So if you remember from my other um tutorial you're gonna do it moving but this time we're gonna do another advanced step and if you click on the if we click on like the my blocks and then press make a block then we're gonna call this um we're gonna call this new speed and then we're gonna put an x and then add a number input as x then do another text y and then add as number input is Y, and then we're going to do one without screen refresh, and then press OK. So, actually, you don't don't do one without screen refresh. Um, if you want to change that, you can just right click and then press Edit, and then you can change the run without screen refresh to not do that, and then press OK. Okay, so now we're going to want to do it is a forever loop. No, we don't actually need a forever loop. So we're going to do two if then. And then key, two keys, and we can also take the operators and do an or, and then we'll put one into each side, and then we can duplicate that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Key, and then we, so that way we can have, we can use W and A and the arrow keys. So I'm going to put, uh left arrow and a or a so one of those and then we can also do um right arrow or d so we can move with more than one keys and you can just keep on doing ors and ors and ors and ors and as long as you want you can make it move with tons of different keys but for now i'm just going to keep with this and then what we want to do is we want to make it move so what we want to do is go to motion and then Change X by, and then we're gonna put. Oh, I just realized something. Okay, uh, right click on this and then press edit. Uh, and then X, and then change this X to X left, and then put X left, and then Y to Y right. No, X. Right. R I G H T. And then we're going to change this to X. Right. There we go. And then edit that. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized I messed up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do change X by. Uh, we're going to do operators. Take this and. No, we're going to do. We're going to put the X left. And we're going to duplicate this, except make this, oh, actually I can't do that, make this X right. Now we have our own custom moving block set up. Now if we go into the, um, make a one green flag clicked, then put a forever loop. Actually, we're going to do a broadcast. We're going to do broadcast, and then we're going to do move. And then we're also going to broadcast, uh, no we don't, we'll just broadcast move. And then we can do a when I receive, and then move, and then we can put a forever loop here, and then do uh, move speed, and we can make this, uh, we can make this, net, we can, what, what speed should we do? And negative 8 and 8 is usually what I do for my speeds. You can pick whatever speed you like, but make sure on the x left, it's always negative, on the x right, it's always positive. Now, we should be able to move. Yes, with the left and right arrow keys and A and D. That does not work. Here's the scripts. Uh, you, you just double check your scripts. 
And also check that you do not have the line without screen refresh tick. If you do tick it, I actually don't think it will do much. Yeah, it, it might go a little bit laggy, and we also might need that for later. That's if it, if you get glitches, just tick that. Um, if you if you get an error, just do edit and then tick the run without screen refresh. That can sometimes fix it. If it doesn't fix it, make sure you have the code correct. And then we're going. And then by the way, the other sprites do not have anything yet. So now we want to actually. I'm going to organize this a little. Now we want to do a um forever loop. And we can do, um, uh, oh yeah, so change in the motion, where is it, change x by, and then we're going to do, um, two minuses, wait, hold on, two minuses, oh, wait, get an and, and put two minus, oh, wait, what? Hold on, uh, change x by, oh wait, what? Okay, just do camera x minus, uh, x position. It should, why is there not an and, why can't I do an and? Hold on, let me make sure if it, let me see if this works. Yeah, that shouldn't work. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back when I figure this out. Oh, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this x, and we're going to do a new variable for this sprite only, and I'm going to call it um, x. Okay. Also do one called y for this sprite only again, and press OK. The y one we probably will not need, but it's always good to just do this in case. And then do a um, camera x minus x, and then do a change x by camera x minus x and that should work hold on I'll put the move in there no it will not okay uh change camera x maybe oh show the camera x Right click, slider. Wait, what? Oh, I, I think I remember how to do this. It's been, it's been a couple days. It's, it's only been, okay, it's not been, it's been, a, it's been like a week since I last did this. Change X by camera X minus X. There we go. And that still doesn't work. Oh. So, we put a go to zero and I guess we can do that. Do that. Yeah, I see what it is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this go into the background sprite, then do a one green flag clicked, then do a forever loop, and then make a new variable, call it X. And do one for x and y for this part only, just like we did before. And hide them. And then do a change x by. Then do a minus, like we did before. And camera x minus x, just like we did before. And this should give you the scrolling effect. And now what we're going to have to do is just make it so we don't do that there. Now. Oh. Um, let's, 
actually do a repeat until. Or not. Um. Put zero. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna put a repeat. Sorry, guys. Forever. No, cause that won't work. Let's try something. Let's do a plus, and then duplicate this. Except. Make this camera Y and then Y. And it decides not to work stuff. So. Oops, that was my mouse. Hold on, let me get that back. Oh! 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 I know what it is. The glitch. I figured it out. Don't do a chain, Jex. Instead, do this. I should have remembered this all along, but I forgot for whatever reason. So let's do it. Okay. So go to. Okay, let's stop the project first of all. Go to camera X and the X camera X. Do that. There we go. Now we can scroll, and if we right click and then change slider range, do minimum value uh, negative five hundred, and the maximum value is. 500 then should be able to do some scrolling let's see okay that's and then if we what we do is we put the um if we do that same script over here oops, I don't do it and then remove that script over here Should be able to. Now when we move, oh no, I guess not. Um, but if you if you if you if you don't if you just do it over here, then you can get a scrolling backdrop. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this first episode of this tutorial. So please like and subscribe for more amazing game of content. New outro. So bye.